Hola. 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 Hello, my friends. Welcome to another English class. We are on class number nine. So let's see who do we have here. Vamos a ver quién tenemos por acá. Let's wait a little bit. Vamos a esperar un poco mientras los demás se conectan.
Hello, hello, teacher. Good evening. Present Noé here. <laughs> So let's see, uh, this is the class number nine. So uh, the topic is how to use would and would you like to. That's the topic that we're going to study tonight. So let's see who do we have here. And uh, let's listen to maybe Guillermo. Hi, how are you tonight? Uh, I'm great, teacher, and you? Okay, nice. Guillermo, are you working tomorrow? Do you work on Saturday? No, tomorrow is, uh, yes, uh, on Sunday. I work on Sunday. Ah, you work on Sunday. Okay. So yes. tomorrow is uh, your rest, right? Yes. Okay. Good, good, good. Okay. Thank you for the information. Let's listen to Rosalie. Hello, Rosalie. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Uh, do you work tomorrow? No, teacher. Thank oh, you for that. No. Yeah, and thank you. Free uh, work, but work in the, ha in the home, at the home. Okay. <laughs> I know <don't> finish. <laughs> uh, believe me, the work at the home never finishes. You're going to have always work at home. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, thank God you don't work tomorrow, right? Okay, nice. Uh, what about if we listen to some other? What about Gustavo? Hi, Gustavo. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you tonight? Hi, fine. Thanks. Very nice. And tell me, do you work tomorrow? Yes, teacher. Okay. At noon. At noon. Yeah, okay. I'm going to write it right now. Ahorita lo escribo. Okay. When we say noon, cuando decimos noon, significa mediodía. Así. Noon es mediodía. I'm going to change this. That's why afternoon es la tarde. Significa después del mediodía. Noon, mediodía, afternoon es la tarde, o sea, después del mediodía. Okay? So, well, uh, you work until noon. Okay, you finish. Thank you, Gustavo. What about if we listen to John? Hi, John. Hi, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, my friend. I okay. am pretty good, I think. I'm sorry? I am pretty good, teacher. Thanks for asking. Okay, very nice, John. That's the attitude. Okay, tell us, do you work tomorrow? Um, Tomorrow, I rest for myself, but it is, it is my tour on Sunday. Okay, on Sunday. Yes, please take advantage of tomorrow. <laughs> Aprovecha mañana, right? Because yes. on Sunday you have to work. Yeah, it happens. I know. And it is strange to work on Sunday, similar to Guillermo. Es que es, es, es raro trabajar domingo. Y como me decía alguien ahí, nadie le cree aún. Nadie le cree que uno trabaja domingo. But yeah, it happens. Sucede. Thank you, John. Okay, what about Maritza? She's crying. Está llorando, Maritza. Hello there. No. No, no yet. Okay. How are you, Maritza? Great. Okay, nice. Do you work tomorrow? Uh, no. You don't work tomorrow? Okay, nice. I work sad, Saturday, but tomorrow, no. Okay. Usually you work on Saturday, but tomorrow you don't work tomorrow. Okay, nice. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Uh, well, we continue with this. And here we have a question, a very simple question. What about this? 
Have you received refunds for a product or service? ¿Has recibido pues, reembolsos por un producto o servicio? Mm, well, not in my case. I don't know if you have. No sé si ustedes han recibido. What about, I don't know, if you have received, eh, please say this. Como es el presente perfecto, podemos utilizarlo así. Yes, I have. In case you know, no, I haven't. Bien, vamos a, a escribir esto en el chat. Sí he recibido, o sea, reembolsos. O si ustedes no han recibido, escriban eso, please. Vamos a ver en el chat, a ver qué me dicen. Okay, let's see. And uh, here we have some answers. No, I haven't. Maritza, Rosalie. Okay, Rosalie, you, yes. No, eh? no. Gustavo, no. Juan. Okay, Rosalie, tell us. Uh, do you remember the product or service? ¿Te recuerdas el producto o servicio? You receive refunds. I remember um, products um, because... In... Que no había existencia, no, no okay. phone. Yeah, no, no products in stock. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, yeah, sometimes it happens. Thank you, uh, Rosalie. Usually we have some refunds when the product uh, is not working well, cuando no funciona, or you can buy online and then you don't find any product, so it happens, okay? So, but the rest of you, just maybe Rosalie, but the rest of you wrote that you haven't. So, okay, I understand that. Well, let's continue with the uh, vocabulary for tonight, and here we have this. Look, ways to introduce someone, formas para presentar a alguien. Okay. Here we have three options. Tenemos tres opciones. Las otras ya las voy a explicar. Number one. I'd like you to meet. Me gustaría que conocieras. I'd like you to meet. Me gustaría que conocieras. En este caso tenemos car. He's a cashier. And number two. I want to introduce you. Quiero presentarte a quién. Mónica. She's a waitress. I want to introduce you, Monica. She's a waitress. And number three, have you met Nancy? She's an accountant. So if you notice, we have three different options to present someone. Maybe it can be to, to the team work. It can be to your friends, to your family. Okay, so it happens. Cuando van a presentar a alguien, ya sea en el trabajo, ¿verdad? Un nuevo miembro del equipo, un empleado, a la familia, amigos. Así que vamos a hacer algo. Eh, me van a decir cualquiera de estas este, or oraciones. Por ejemplo, I'd like you to meet. Y me van a inventar un nombre. Puede ser alguien que ustedes conozcan. Por, por ejemplo, I'd like you to meet Luis. He's a, a driver. O pueden ser, I want to introduce you, Lisette. She's a supervisor. O pueden ser, have you met María? She's the manager. 
Okay. So think about the person you know. Piensen en alguien que ustedes conozcan. Puede ser familiar o puede ser el compañero de trabajo. Cuando yo lo llame para eh, la lista, okay, the, the, the attendance list, deben de mencionar cualquiera de esos. Okay. Les doy un momento para que piensen en quién pueden mencionar. Okay, let's listen to some of you. Uh, tell me, uh, Adi, we don't have Adi, right? Uh, Ana Cristina either, right? I don't know if Ana Cristina is there. Elias? Hi, Elias, no. Okay, what about Rivas? Carlos Rivas? No, by the moment. Okay, uh, Claudia Marcela, I guess no. I don't know. Okay, Daniel. I guess no, no, not here. David, I guess he he's like listener. Okay, uh, Alejandra. Doris, Alejandra. I don't know if you're there. Okay. Let's listen to. Um, Evelyn, no, Graciela, maybe we're going to start with Guillermo. Hi, Guillermo. Hi, teacher. Present. Okay, what about your phrase? Present someone. Uh, I want to introduce you, uh, Erika. She's a waitress. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, what about Jose Andres? Uh, you are traveling. You are moving, right, Jose? Teacher, pero yo sí estoy. Ah, okay, Graciela. Hello. Hello. Yes, teacher, but some, uh, some minutes ago I arrived at home, so I can quickly participate right now. Okay, uh, let's go with Jose and then Graciela. Okay, Jose, what about your phrase? Okay. Present um, I want to introduce my man right, right here, Miguel. He's mm -hmm. my supervisor at work. Okay. Very nice, thank you. What about Graciela, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, Graciela. Uh, what about your phrase? Vamos a ver tu frase acá. I want to introduce uh, Doris, she is my supervisor. Okay, Doris, uh, okay, very nice. She is, your, she is your supervisor, thank you, Graciela. Okay, what about John? Uh, good evening, teacher. Um, Hi. I like you. I like you to meet uh, Mauricio. He is a general manager. Perfect. Okay. Katia is like a listener, right? Because she's working. Uh, Maritza, hi. Hi. Uh, I want to introduce you, Emmanuel. He is an engineer. Okay. He's an engineer. Thank you. Okay, Marvin is here. What about Noe? Hi, Noe. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. My project is, I want to introduce you, Felipe. He's a police officer. Very nice. Hey, Gustavo. All right. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I like you to meet Juan. He is electrician. Okay, electrician. Thank you. What about Oscar? Do we have Oscar here? Maybe not by the moment. Okay, Rosalie. Hi, Rosalie. Present teacher, hi. Thank you. I'd like to, to meet 
José. Mm -hmm. He is my son. Oh, very nice. What about Susie? We have Susie here. Well, not by the moment. And Teresa. Maybe just like a listener. Okay. We're going to continue. So um, maybe something important is that Kira has some phrases to present or introduce someone. Okay, here we have three, these three phrases. Tenemos es, estas tres frases. Ahora, um, something important to mention is that uh, here we have this. Sorry. These two phrases is like okay, we're going to focus on in la primera que decimos I'd like you to meet Si ustedes le dicen a alguien así, I like you, le está, ustedes le están diciendo que eh, me gustas. Eso les están diciendo. Por ejemplo, si, usted, si Guillermo le dice a alguien o si John le dice a alguien, I like you, le están diciendo me gustas. Si alguien le dice a Noé, I like you, les, alguien te está diciendo me gustas. Pero, but, if you listen this, I like you to work tomorrow. No les están diciendo que me, me gustan ustedes. Les están diciendo, me gusta o me gustaría que trabajes mañana. Ahora, I want you, yo quiero, te quiero. I want you es te quiero. ¿Cómo? I love, te amo, I love you. Pero, si escriben, I love you to work on Sunday le están diciendo quiero que trabajes el domingo importante this is very important if a person tells you just I want you si alguien le dice sí, alegrense los quieren pero si le dicen I want you to work on Sunday quiero que trabajes el domingo igual eh, también está esto el I would I would love you, ¿verdad? Me encantaría que tú envíes el reporte. Aquí no les están diciendo que les encanta a ustedes como personas, sino I love you, I would love you to send the report. Me encantaría que envíes el reporte. So, the, the compliment is very important. Y algo también para agregar, he escuchado que algunos, eh, algunas personas cuando les preguntan, ¿dónde vamos? Dicen, wherever. Eso dicen, wherever. ¿A dónde vamos? Wherever. Eh, si alguien le dice, ¿y quién va, quién va a pasar a exponer? Ah, wherever. Dice. Mm, here has a problem. Tenemos un problema. Wherever significa lo que sea. Cosa, comida, cine, una actividad. Si alguien dice wherever, significa donde sea. Whoever, quien sea. Entonces, if a person tells you, what do you prefer? Pizza or hamburger or pasta. And you say, ah, whatever. ¿Qué quieres comer? Pizza, hamburguesa, pasta. Mm, lo que sea, whatever. Pero si le pregunta... Where do we go? ¿A dónde vamos? To the cinema, to the park, to the mall. You can say wherever, ¿m? donde sea. Le pregunta, ¿y quién va, quién va a traer la pizza? Who is going to bring the pizza? Whoever, quien sea. So I have noticed that a lot of people confuse this. Veo que mucha gente confunde eso y dice wherever para, lo que es, para, para todo en general. Pero no, whatever, lo que sea, wherever, donde sea, whoever, quien sea. Y la otra para, this is a phrase that you already know, uno sé, ya que no sé en esta frase, instead of, significa en lugar de. Ok, we continue. Well, um, here we have this. Ok. Uh, here we have the following refund form. Es un formulario de reembolso. Okay. Sender's name and address. Okay. Water looks in traveler's 
eh, INC 23, Glenway, San Carlos, TA 0570. Okay, note. Vamos a ver con el note. Maybe uh, Maritza can help us reading number one, please. Please not. What else? Customer satisfaction warranty is uh, 90 days from date of purchase. Okay. Yes. Thank you. So um, you have 90 days. So almost three months from the date of purchase del día de la compra. Thank you. Okay. John, please. Number two. Retain. Wait. Retain a copy of your records and close the origin original with the merchandise. Okay, yeah. So retain a copy. Okay, it is important this document. Maybe we can have Guillermo with number three. Use online per item. Uh, use one line per item. All quantities are to be reported in each space. Space all item returned uh, will require the original order number recorder on the form, so credit can be processed. Thank you. Here we have stock details and important. For example, um, as you can see. Recent code, here we have code, tenemos un código, item. Yo sé que se, se, se lee item, pero se pronuncia item or item number. And here we have a serial code, código de serie. Okay, hashtag B7869, quantity 6. Date of purchase, tenemos la, el, la fecha de la compra, order number. And relevant Reason. ¿Cuál es eh, la razón importante o relevante? Missing parts. Aquí dice que en este artículo hacen falta partes. Missing es como extraviado o que hace falta. Partes, ¿ok? Here we have this. Adverse event. Dissatisfaction. Eh, product performance. Que es el desarrollo del producto, ¿ok? So, here we have dissatisfaction and product performance. Eso es, da a entender este eh, formulario de reembolso. Let's continue with this. I'm sorry, I don't know. It is, I'm having a problem with this mouse. Okay, let's see to the, the other page. Okay. Check the refund form to answer the questions, compare the answers. Okay, um, number one, what are the reasons the customer wants a refund? ¿Cuáles son las razones por qué el cliente quiere un reembolso? Number two, would the customer get the refund? Why? ¿El cliente obtendrá, obtendría el reembolso? Okay, veamos las razones por las que están sus, eh, the reasons uh, why this person is uh, requiring the refund, okay? Maybe we can have here, John, any idea why this person is asking for the refund? Because the missing part, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, Noe. Yes, you're right. Because of the missing part. So you are buying a, a product, but you have missing parts. Te hacen falta piezas o partes. So mm, it is not like a, a good... Uh, service. Number two, would the customer get the refund? It is possible that this person gets the refund. Es posible que obtenga un reembolso because the product is not complete. El producto no está completo. Okay? So, let's move to this. Uh, I need you to read this. We're going to start with Gustavo. Please read uh, from Wood a uh, uh, Sentences one and two, please. I would. Okay. I would cha change this product. He will be there again. again. Thank you. Maritza, three and four. We wouldn't. 
we wouldn't stay in this place. Would you give me your information? Thank you. Very nice. Okay, let's listen to Noe. Would like to. Okay, uh, sentence one and two, please. I would like to change this product. Yeah. He would like to buy it there again. Yeah, he would like to buy it. Okay, thank you. What about Guillermo? Three and four, please. They wouldn't. They wouldn't like to come back here. Would Would you like to get a refund? Yeah, okay. Se dan cuenta que el would se parece al could o al can. Eh, va en la misma posición. Okay. So, let's see here. Here we have a uh, complete the following statement or questions. Okay. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Uh, complete the following statements or questions. Vamos a completar la, las siguientes preguntas o eh, también pueden ser oraciones. Vamos a agregar verbos y complemento. Okay. Le doy un par de segundos para que den una revisada y podamos completar. Okay, I'm sorry, I had some difficulties with this uh, signal when la señora tenía dificultades. Okay, let's listen to some of your opinions about these questions and sentences. Vamos a escuchar a ver qué tienen por acá. Maybe we can have some participations. And I would like to know Maritza and then Noé. Okay, Maritza, any idea from these sentences? Um... Number one, I would like to go to the park. Yes. Let's see this. I would like to, yeah, go to the park. No, I, thank you, Maritza. Well, in my case, it's the number one, too. I would like to take you notes of this class. Okay. Okay, yeah, available. Thank you. Uh, what about Guillermo and then John? And the number three, will she swim in the river today? Yeah. It's a question. Good. John and then we go with Gustavo. Let me see. Number six, um, mm -hmm. um, good July to eat chicken today. Yeah. Good point. Thank you. Okay. Maybe we can have Rosalie. And then Graciela. Okay, Rosalie. I don't know. We have number two. Four and five. If not, we can have a uh, Graciela are you there. Teacher. Yes. Number five. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't eat pizza. Okay. Tomorrow. Okay, good. Maybe we can have some other participations. Uh, Jose, maybe two or four, depends on you. Okay, uh, in my case, Mr. Trujillo wouldn't, wouldn't fire me. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Fire me. Okay. Fire. Uh, de despedir. Uh, fire. Despedir. Okay. Good for you. Okay. So maybe we can have this. Uh, we'd like to. Uh, Chen, check the homework. Okay. So if you notice, it is very easy to use wood. Está bastante fácil utilizar el wood. Okay. And we're going to have some practice. Vamos a tener un poquito de práctica en ese momento. We're going to uh, practice with conversation one or two. If you need notice, it, they are short conversations, very simple, with no difficulties. So it says, conversation number one, what do you want to do in the future? I when they said I would or I'd, I'd like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? I'd like to cook Greek food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I'd like that. Es, I'd, es como decir, I would. Me encantaría eso. Me gustaría. Number two. Who would you like to meet someday? ¿A quién te gustaría conocer algún día? I'd like to meet Bill Gates. What would you ask him? I'd ask him uh, about his life. I want to know his secret to success. I'd like to know that too. That would be wonderful. Okay. Let's focus on the yellow words. I've. Own. Own. Time. Great. Okay. Again, I've. Secret. No secret. Secret and success. Maybe we can have some screenshots. A ver, ¿quién me puede apoyar con las screenshots? And we're going to have, like, some practice. Uh, thank you. I guess John is working on that. Just trabajando John en eso. So we're going to have a, a short practice. Vamos a tener una pequeña práctica. And see you in a couple of minutes. See you very in un par de minutes. Okay, my friends? Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, see you in a moment, my friends. Graciela, vamos a ver si, si ya te conectas.
Okay, maybe we can have some practice with Guillermo. Who was your classmate, Guillermo? Was Juan. Oh, okay, maybe John is going to appear in a moment. And maybe we can uh, work on conversation one or two. What do you prefer, Guillermo? Mm, number one. Okay, uh, John is going to appear in a couple of seconds. Let's see here. Well, John is not appearing. Maybe we can have this uh, participation with Rosalie. Maybe, Guillermo, you can be man and Rosalie. Oh, well, 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 is appearing John. Guillermo and John, please, can you practice conversation one? Okay. okay. Go. Uh, what do you want to do in the future? I'd like to be a chef. I want to be have my own restaurant. Uh, what kind of food would you like to cook? I like to cook great food. Oh, if you do that, I want to eat there. I like that. Thank you. Okay, Rosalie, conversation two, please. Who was your classmate? Teacher, no me pude conectar. Really? Okay, maybe we can have the participation of Maritza. Okay, uh, you can be man, Rosalie, and Maritza can be woman. Okay, let's listen. What do you want to do in the future? Okay, Rosalie. I, I, like, like... I like to be a chef. I want to have my own restaurant. What kind of food would you like to cook? I like to cook great food. Oh, if you if you do that, I want to eat there. There. I like that. I I like. Okay. Uh, very nice. I like that. Okay. Thank you. Um, let's continue with this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I have a problem with my internet. Okay. Let's go with the, uh, the speaking activity. Have you ever had accidents at home? Alguna vez han tenido accidentes en casa? Maybe we can start this uh, speaking activity Listen to listening to John. John, come on, my friend. You have you ever had accidents? Alguna vez tenido accidentes en casa? Yes, John? I have. Okay. Can you when, mention one? I tell you, um when when I was still. I thought I was putting all my skates inside the house and I I feel and cut my calf with a sharp object. Oh really? Uh, with that with that I had to to not wear it for a long time. Okay. It's kind of complicated that. Did you have some wounds? Do you have any heridas? Profundas or yes. something severe? Mm -hmm. Yes, este, my good cough. Me corté las pantorrillas. <laughs> Did you go to the doctor? No. No. <laughs> okay, but uh, what about the? Did you heal quickly? Sanaste rápido? Um, no. Oh, come um, on, John. Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, I take, I take too long. Mm -hmm. It took take too long. Me. It took long, okay. Yeah, that's kind of dangerous, right? 
Because sometimes, yeah, your body can regenerate, but maybe we need some supervision from the doctors. Okay, John. Thank you for uh, talking about your anecdote. And it, and it is very dangerous. A sharpening tools, algunas herramientas o algo, algún tipo de objetos que son filosos. Sharpen, right? Very, very dangerous. Thank you, John. Okay, we go with uh, Guillermo and then Rosalie. What about you, Guillermo? Some accidents at home? Mm, accident? No, I, I don't remember. No accidents? No, for me, no. And what about from anybody in your family? No accidents? Um. Well, my mom, uh, she she fell for the stairs mm -hmm. of my house, and she she lost her baby, my sister. Oh, really? So she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of complicated. Maybe she has some a uh, uh, complicated movements, some movimientos extraños or something like that, because she will have some some difficulties with movement sometimes. Yeah. Yes. I remember that it, it was raining that day, and my brother was uh, knocking the door. Oh, okay. And she was. Uh, walk into the stairs and mm -hmm. she she falls oh i'm sorry i'm so sorry well that was a, a complicated accident right especially because she was pregnant so well uh, okay thank you guillermo for for sharing and that's really complicated especially for women okay with that condition thank you guillermo okay we go with maritza and then noe What about you, Maritza? Mm, no accidents. No accidents? Okay. Mm, are you sure? Nobody break, at home. No. Nobody in your family. Okay. That's really good. Okay. And what about Noe? And then we go with Rosalie. Yes, in my uh-huh and what about ago, your experience uh, well we were installing a rock tv at a house uh-huh and when we were installing the rack we dropped it and the tv broken oh wow so it is even it seems so simple but it's simple right? it seems so simple like a yes. rack installing a rack but by a couple in a, in a couple of minutes, our money go to the garbage. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Yes, it is very delicate. Muy delicado es, okay? Because it's yeah. TV is something that, yes, yes it's, it's expensive, right? So, uh, I'm yeah. so sorry for that. So, as you mentioned, uh, your, uh, some money to the garbage in a couple of, of minutes or seconds. Well, uh, thank you Noe, yeah. for that experience. Yes, we have to take care about that. Okay, Rosalie, and then we go with Gustavo. Um, does it count to hurt yourself and with a knife when um, cooking? Cooking, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's not that bad. Okay, so you have la, la, like uh, that kind of wound. Tu viste como una pequeña herida, so. When cooking, and um, sometimes, uh -huh. Yeah, especially, for example, when you are chopping, cuando estás cortando, when you are chopping tomatoes or something like that, sometimes we can have some accidents. Thank you, Rosalie. Okay, we go with Gustavo and then Teresa. Okay, Gustavo, you have uh, some accidents at home? Yes, teacher. Okay, tell us. One day, one day uh, when I was playing with my little dog named 
snake in a tramble. Really, mm -hmm. I was running. I I tripped on a bleacher and fell and cut my arm. Oh, really? Cut your arm. Okay, yes. It seems, it seems so simple, parece simple, but sometimes it turns so complicated. Thank you, Gustavo. Teresa, what about you? Hi, teacher. Um, I remember that when I was a child, um, the floor was wet and I sleep and then me caí. And, ah, you um, fell down. Uh -huh. okay. And I hit my eye and hurt my eyebrow. Oh, really? That's terrible. And yes, it my yes. was como hinchado, como puedo decir. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, inflamed. Yeah, it was inflamed uh, from your eyebrow, la parte de la ceja. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and wow. That's... Well, it hurt. Creo que dolió bastante, right? Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Y me pusieron eso. miel. <laughs> miel, and it worked? Trabajo, eh, ¿Funcionó? I don't know. <laughs> ah, well. No lo sé. Part of the show. No part of the show. <laughs> okay. And that's. Okay, thank you, my friends. For all your anecdotes. Okay. Uh, maybe we can have a screenshot of this. Podemos tener quizás una captura de pantalla de eso. Esa es la estructura gramatical del good. ¿Ok? Vamos a explicar algo relacionado a eso. Ok, explicar algo bien sencillo. You use would, uh, por ejemplo, would like. Pueden utilizar el would like cuando quieren algo en específico. Por ejemplo, I would like a cup of tea. Me gustaría una taza de té. Or you can mention a verb. Pueden mencionar un verbo. Por ejemplo, I would like to drink tea. Me gustaría beber té. Ok. If you notice, here is the object and here is the verb. So, for the negative, for the negatives, we have also I wouldn't, solo le escribimos el would not, igual que acá, we would like to. Para hacer las preguntas, utilizamos el would. Okay, would you like a cup of tea or would uh, you like to drink tea? Para respuesta utilizamos yes, I would, yes, he would, y así, o no, I wouldn't, no, you wouldn't, y así, sucesivamente, okay? So, um, aquí tenemos grammar notes, vamos a hacer un zoom acá. En el grammar notes. Y aquí tenemos lo siguiente. Ok, uh, maybe we can have the participation of Guillermo, number one. Grammar notes. Vamos a escuchar las notas gramaticales acá. I would, number one. Ok, I would like a cup of tea. Is a more polite way to say I want a cup of tea. Yes, yes, definitely it is. For example... Es muy diferente decir me gustaría una taza de té que quiero una taza de té. So that's a part of to be polite. Esa es parte de ser amable. Ok, let's listen to, well, sentence number two. And here we have Noé. Please, can you help us with a sentence number two? Ok, I would like a cup of tea. It's similar. It's often contracted to I like. A cup of tea in a speak. Yeah, okay. So, and uh, here we have I would like, pero ya al hablar 
es mejor decir I'd like. Es como la contracción, ¿verdad? Y es parte de, 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 de lo más práctico, ¿ok? Let's listen to José. Ok, José Andrés, number three. Yes, I would. Yes, I would. It's never contracted to yes, I would. In response to an offer, not thank you, is considered more polite than no, I wouldn't. Wouldn't. I'm sorry. Eh, sí, cuando utilizamos eh, la respuesta yes, I would, no lo contractamos, no lo acortamos. Se dice yes, I would, no, yes, I'd. ¿Ok? Y la última en respuesta de no, thank you, is considered more polite than no, I wouldn't. Eh, entonces, cuando le ofrecen algo, would you like some coffee? ¿Quieren algo de café? No, thank you. ¿Verdad? Es mejor que decir no, I wouldn't. ¿Ok? Well, Now, here we have some exercises. Tenemos unos ejercicios acá. Okay. So, uh, what are we going to do? Please, maybe we can have a screenshot. Una captura de pantalla con estos. Utilizando el would like. Okay, now that we have this, vamos a revisar acá entonces. Here we have this, uh, we're going to work in pairs, vamos a trabajar en equipo y vamos a, re a resolver esto, ok? Cuando regresemos vamos a compartir lo que tenemos ya avanzado. Ok, my friends, uh, we're going to work uh, with the same teams, ok? Uh, let me check this. Ok, my friends, see you in a moment. Se lo ven un momento. Vamos a trabajar en, en esto. Ok, my friends. Luego vamos con las participaciones. Ok, Teresa, Ana Cristina, Katia, ya les envío la solicitud por si pueden, están en la sala número 4. Ok, teacher, es que a mí me sacó de la que estaba. Ah, de verdad, ya sí. reviso. Ok. Hasta el compañero creo que estaba hablando, no sé si se quedó solito. En la eh, 3 estaba. Ok, permítame. Me uno a la 5. No, ahorita te me envíe de nuevo a la 4. Ok. Hola, hola. Este, aquí a Teresa. David me estaba solicitando ayuda. Hello. Sí, es que pensé que, eh, teacher, quiero participar y pensé que me había unido ah, solo no. con Susana y también está de oyente. Entonces... Ok, aquí Pero está. Ya vi que está... 
que está activa, ¿ok? Pueden trabajar en, en los ejercicios. Sí, gracias, teacher. Excelente. Gracias. Welcome. Vaya. Eh, ahorita veo la, 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 la captura. Ok, eh, no sé si alguien de ustedes puede compartirla. Sí, híjole. Yo no estoy... <risa>
Okay, my friends, let's listen to some of you and you tell me some of the, the answers. Maybe Teresa, are you there? Gustavo? Yeah, teacher. Okay, uh, we're going to start completing this. And here we have uh, exercise uh, number one. It's already completed. So if you notice, here we have number one. I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. Okay, Teresa, and then we go with uh, Gustavo. What number? Number two. Okay. Yeah. Okay, primero will... Teresa, eh, Gustavo, y después vamos contigo, please. Que, que Teresa ya me había contestado. Okay, okay. Thank you. Gust eh, okay. Teresa, please. Uh, the number 12. 12, okay. Who, Who would like some candy? Yeah. Who would like some candy? And the answer, we would. Yeah. We would. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Gustavo. Okay, teacher, is number four. Number four. Patrick. Patrick would like to go, go to the supermarket. He needs milk. He needs milk. That's it. Thank you. Okay, we go now with Guillermo and John. Okay, Guillermo, what number? Um, let me see. The number two. Please. Would you like a break? Yes, I okay. would. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, John, what about you? Number six. The Marita. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Can I help you? Yes, I do like. Okay. Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Thank you. Okay, Maritza. Number nine. Number nine, and then David. Okay, nine. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Yes, vanilla. Como el rapero, vanilla ice cream. Okay. Vanilla ice cream. Thank you. Okay, here we have David and then Rosalie. Okay, teacher, number 11. Number 11. Uh, what, what would you like to do tomorrow? Thank you. What would what would you like? Okay, what would you like to what would you like to do tomorrow? Thank you. Okay, Rosalie, and then we go with uh, Jose Andres. Okay, Rosalie. Number number three. Okay. I don't understand this. Yes. I would like some help with my homework. Mm -hmm. I would like some help with my homework. Well, thank you. Okay, Jose, and then we go with Graciela. Okay, teacher, I chose number seven. I My yeah. friends would like to come to the party next week. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Graciela, are you there? Yes, teacher. Please. And they know. Number five. Would Tom like to come with? Would Tom like to? Mm -hmm. Come with it's us. Two yes, he. Two teacher. I'm sorry. No, number like five. Two. Yes. Uh -huh. Because yes. the next word is a verb. Mm -hmm. Would Tom like yeah, to, to come? Yes, with us. And the answer yes, here. Yes, he would. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, Noe, what about you? I don't know if Noe Number is. Number eight. Uh, I'm here, here, I'm here. But Thank I'm you. driving. <laughs> Number eight. Number okay, I'm sorry. Eight. Mm -hmm. Would you like work on Sunday? No, I wouldn't. 
Very nice. No, I wouldn't. Yeah, that's it. And here we have number 10, maybe uh, John, can you help us with number 10, please? I'm sorry. Here we have a question and an answer. Number 10. Mm -hmm. um, 10. Okay. Uh, good like to see a movie. Mm -hmm. No, I couldn't. Okay. Yeah. It's a negative answer. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. Thank you, my friends. I guess th this is kind of easy, right? A very easy structure. So we're not going to have more problems about this. And here we have some listening. Vamos a tener un listening en este momento. Vamos a escuchar. Just 30 minutes and we finish the class. Solo 30 minutos, pues, y terminamos la clase. I really positive because tomorrow is Saturday. So let's listen two times. Vamos a escucharlo dos veces. Mora. My favorite restaurant. Oh, let us have salad. It's not really a restaurant. Mora salad bar. But you can get pasta and that type of thing too. They have about a hundred varieties of salad. But I have my two or three favorites. Lemon chicken salad. Turkish couscous salad and the one which the owner recommended to me. Russian caviar salad. A bit expensive, but worth every penny. Actually, I know the owner quite well, as we've worked together in the past. So, I can eat very healthy and have a shot at the same time. I probably go there once a week at least. Okay, let's listen again. My favorite restaurant. Oh, let us have salad. It's not really a restaurant. Mora salad bar. But you can get pasta and that type of thing too. They have about a hundred varieties of salad. But I have my two or three favorites. Lemon chicken salad, Turkish couscous salad, and the one which the owner recommended to me. Russian caviar salad. A bit expensive, but worth every penny. Actually, I know the owner quite well as we've worked together in the past. So I can eat very healthy and have a shot at the same time. I probably go there once a week at least. Okay, let's listen to some of you. What you have, uh, do we have volunteers? Yeah. Okay, uh, Noe, right? And then Teresa. Yeah. She was talking about restaurant. Okay, um, restaurant. And, yes, in that restaurant, they had tons of salad. She can salad, Rocha Caber salad. The owner was her, her friend. And every spend penny in the Russian Caribbean salad is the best. That's understand. Thank yeah, you. very nice. Yeah, talking about food and restaurants. Okay, we go with Teresa and Guillermo. Uh, she says that she goes to the restaurant frequently. And she says too that she has three favorite salads. And she talked she talk about pasta and well yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's... that's correct that's for thank you that's thank you Teresa cool. okay we go with Guillermo and Graciela very nice mm, well I hear that it's not really a restaurant 
and they had about a hundred variety of salad, but you can get a pasta too. And she worked with the owner of the restaurant because uh, they work together in the past. Okay, very interesting. Thank you, Graciela. Okay, teacher. She's talking about his favorite restaurant, but she says it's in a really restaurant. And she says that a bar of salad, and she mentions one of the three favorite salad is lemon chicken salad, and she probably go once a week. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, what about if we listen to Rosalie? Do you have any other phrase, word, or idea that you listen? And your uh, your favorite restaurant, and bar salad, and pasta. And she she has three favorite salad, and only here one lemon okay. chicken salad. Actually, I know once, no, only what? I probably there, there, here, once a week at this. Yeah, very nice. Only. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and here we have this uh, text. So we can see that uh, my favorite restaurant, oh, let us have salad and so on. Yeah, as you mentioned, there are some words very important like pasta like varieties of salad, uh, lemon chicken, Russian caviar, and a lot. So if you notice, you have the word that I uh, mentioned before, la palabra que he mencionado antes, actually, es como realmente, right? And well, you already know these uh, words. So um, I guess, yeah. We don't have problems with this. And so now we're going to study another grammar structure. Vamos a estudiar otra estructura gramatical. We already studied um, would like, ¿verdad? Es el good like o good like to, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, cuando ya vimos esto, que el good like es cuando ustedes quieren algo, les gustaría algo, a alguien le gustaría algo. Pero cuando utilizamos el good like to, Es como bien, ya viene un verbo, ¿ok? A good like to. No problem with this. And we're going to check this. Look. Eh, la vez pasada estuvimos viendo past continuous o el past progressive. Ejemplo. En presente continuo, continuo, I am working. En pasado, I was working. Así que vamos a trabajar con este mismo. I was working, you were traveling, she was singing. Pero ahora con una acción interrumpiéndola. Ojo con esto. Uh, we have this. Use the past progressive. El past progressive es el mismo past continuous. Okay. Use the past progressive with simple past. To describe an action that was interrupted by another action. Ejemplo. They were enjoying the morning when the thief stole the briefcase. Ellos estaban disfrutando la mañana cuando el ladrón robó el maletín. Cuando tenemos la palabra when allí, entonces viene la palabra en pasado. Ejemplo. Past enjoying stole. Entonces podemos notar acá que ellos estaban disfrutando y que pasó de repente el ladrón robó. Entonces fue una acción interrumpida. Ejemplo. The teacher is drinking water. Por ejemplo, the teacher was drinking water when some eh, turn off. El teacher estaba tomando agua cuando Zoom se apagó. Así que cuando tenemos la palabra cuando, when, ahí viene el pasado. Vamos a ver ejercicio. Aquí tenemos acá. 
simple past versus past continuous. Vamos a ver, John nos va a ayudar acá. We use simple past to talk about. Utilizamos el pasado simple para hablar de. Completed. Puedes ayudarme a leer, John. Completed actions. Ok, a completed action, habits and facts in the past. Ok, continue. I went. I went to the cinema yesterday. I always visited. I always visited my grandparents in my summer holiday when I was little. I lived near. I lived near Liverpool for a couple of years. Yeah, that's it. Entonces tenemos que el simple past lo utilizamos para una acción que comenzó en el pasado y terminó en el pasado. Ok. Eh, Rosalie, please. Past continuous. The past continuous is used to express. El pasado continuo es utilizado para expresar what? Interrupted. Eh, no te escuchamos, Rosalí. Hello. <laughs> Sorry. No Interruptive action, specific time as an interruption in parallel action. Okay. I was watching TV when the phone rang. Last night at 7 p.m. I was having dinner. Eh, while she was do doing her homework, Her brother was playing football. Excellent. Thank you. Entonces, I was watching TV when, aquí, estaba en televisión, ¿cuándo? ¿Qué pasó? El teléfono sonó. Anoche el CT estaba cenando mientras ella estaba haciendo la tarea y su hermano estaba jugando fútbol. Entonces, son acciones paralelas. Ok. Let's move to this. Y aquí tenemos esto. Ok. Tenemos esto ahora. Importante, cuando vean eh, la palabra when, aquí va a ver el pasado de esos verbos, ¿ok? Entonces le vamos a intentar darle sentido a estas oraciones. Voy a usar la once. Veamos acá. Sería, los científicos estaban trabajando en su laboratorio cuando ellos descubrieron la nueva medicina o droga. Discovered. Mira, los científicos estaban trabajando en el laboratorio cuando ellos descubrieron la medicina o la fórmula. Entonces, eh, ¿qué estaban haciendo lo, lo, los científicos? Estaban trabajando. ¿Y qué pasó? De repente descubrieron la fórmula. ¿Ok? Um, maybe we, we can have this screenshot. Vamos a trabajar en equipo y eh, a ver si me toman captura de pantalla. Va a ser de las últimas actividades. Solo nos quedarían dos actividades y terminamos la clase. ¿Ok? Let's uh, check this. Vamos a revisar esto. Thank you, John. A ver si me puede enviar esta captura, please. Sí, José, dime. Teacher, it's wrong if we use was twice. You can use was if there are two parallel actions. Si hay dos acciones paralelas, si las puedes utilizar. Ejemplo. Because in the first one, teacher, I am confused. Okay, look at this. Eh, dice, last night 
7 p.m. I was having dinner while she was doing her homework. Her brother was playing football. Two parallel, eh, parallel situations. Situaciones paralelas. Ahora, en eh, number Wait, one, teacher. lo que pasa es que cuando lleva la palabra when, después aquí va el pasado simple. Uh -huh. Estaba nevando cuando. Ajá. Cuando me fui esta well, mañana. Well, my, my question is, teacher, when, when it is it, I can use it is was. Was. It was snowing. Okay. When. And after aquí, the base form. Base, aquí el pasado simple, left. Uh -huh. Estaba base nevando form, cuando okay. me fui esta mañana. Uh -huh. In those details where I am confused, teacher. Eh, por eso le, le, les comento. That's why I'm saying. When you find when, then the next verb is going to be in the simple past. Cuando vean la palabra when, eh, el siguiente verbo es pasado simple. Es un, un patrón sencillo. Intentémoslo hacer y luego regresamos y vamos a hacer, bueno, casi por terminar la clase. Ok, my friends.
Hello, Katia. Everything okay? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Uh, some difficulties, right? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Relax. <laughs> I know it's tiring. It's Friday and it's tiring. They can tell, okay? So, Katia, what about you? Have you ever had accidents at home? Or do you know any case in your family? Um. Yes, I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, when I was, I think, 16 years old, I coming home from school around seven, uh, 4 p.m. And I forgot the key to enter my house. Okay. And I had the great idea. I climbed to climb on the road. Mm-hmm. And going uh, <laughs> down the back door. <laughs> okay, it, that was the plan. Yes. <laughs> but. But <laughs> when you I fell was, down, the guy fell down. down. Where? Yes. <laughs> okay. Told you it hurt. The roof broken and. Oh, um, the roof broken. The real techo. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. almost feel from. And uh, it, it, um, my mom was very angry <laughs> mm -hmm. that she punished. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, she, she punished. Yes. Okay, thank you, Katia. I don't know. Sometimes it happens because you wanted to be <laughs> Spider Man, a spider, spider girl. <laughs> so you failed. Okay, in thank my you. Mind, Katia. In, you know, it's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at that moment it was a good idea, but later you find out that you found out that it was a bad idea. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, thank you uh, for sharing. Uh, Gustavo, do we have Gustavo here? About this? If not, Gustavo, Graciela, or Ana Cristina? Yes, teacher. Okay, uh, any accident at home that you remember? No, no, not really, because in my house we have always been careful. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that, that's important. You have been careful uh, to avoid accidents. Yes. Thank you. Okay, okay, thank you, Graciela. Yeah, I know it's very important to be careful. David, are you there? Yes, teacher. Uh, mm -hmm. On on one occasion, I was changing the roof of my house, and I slip from the ladder. Mm -hmm. I have severe body pain. Oh wow! Locally, yeah. Uh -huh, locally, uh, I did not suffer from fractures. Today, uh, I am already recovered. All this happened uh, last year. Okay, last year. It, it is recent, reciente. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing. I know it's difficult, similar to Katia, fell down from the from the roof, and even it's very dangerous. Okay. Thank you, uh, my friends. We're going to finish here. Vamos a terminar acá porque ya se nos acabó un poco el tiempo. Okay, let, I'm going to take the attendance list. Please say hi, hello, good evening, good night, bye-bye. Uh, because it's time to say goodbye, okay? Recuerden hacer las tareas de la unidad 2, homeworks from unit 2, 
and the midterm y el examen de medio curso, ok, because on Monday I'm going to check the uh, grades, reviso la, las notas el eh, lunes, ok, Adi not here, Ana Cristina, I don't know if you're there, eh, we don't have Elías o Rivas, no, Claudia, Daniel, I don't know if Daniel, ok, eh, we go with David, yes, right David, Okay, eh, Alejandra, there is Alejandra connected. Evelyn, no. Graciela, right? Hi. Bye bye, teacher. See you on bye, Monday. Bye, see you on Monday. Guillermo. Present, teacher. Good Thank night. Thank you. Good night. Jose Andres. Bye, bye, my friend. Present, teacher. Good night, teacher. Bye. Good night. See you. Uh, John and Katia. Good night. I am sorry. I am still having problem with the internet. No problem, um, John. Okay. I, happy, uh, happy happy weekend, everyone. Yeah, See you Monday. Weekend. Bye, Maritza. Present. Uh, Good night. Noe. I know Noe is, is traveling, is driving. Okay. Present so bye bye. Sure. Have bye. a great weekend. Have a good weekend, my friend. Noe, Oscar, no. Rosalie. Present. Good night. Good See night. you Monday. Good to you, Susie yeah. and Teresa. Right. Okay, thank you. Okay, my friends, see you on Monday. Please take care and uh, remember to complete the homework. Complete las tareas, please, please. Bye bye. Okay, teacher. Bye. bye. Have a good night. Teacher, no sé si me mencionó. Sí, David, pero ya, ya te anoté acá. ¿Verdad? Porque okay. estuviste participando. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you on Monday.